It's going to be difficult for me to enter the client's train. Surprise! The show which places our celebrities on a pedestal so we can get a better shot at them. Now, tonight, our unsuspecting co-stars are... The lovely Lavinia Nixon gets mobile while on the phone. Sam Newman in trouble with what else? Cops and cars. And the music legend James Morrison meets a fan for life. For our first stunt tonight, we needed someone who could laugh in the face of adversity. And we sure found her. Please welcome television and radio personality, Lavinia Nixon, and her on-air partner, the guy who set her up, Ed Phillips. Come on, go! Hello, gorgeous. Hi. Hey, Ed. Jane. Grab a seat. Wow. Welcome to the red couch. Wow. It's comfy out here. It is very comfy indeed. Now, tell me, we asked you, you know, your mission, Mr. Phelps, if you, you know, wanted to accept it, was to get her into a telephone box. How did you go about that doing that? That sounds really bad. Yeah, doesn't it? And I've never had to go to so much trouble to get someone into a telephone box. We had to create an event. Uh, we were heading off, uh, theoretically, to go to do a, a talk for some school kids. Um, and we had to pretend that we were doing a phone interview, which, of course, the phones then packed it in. And everybody's got a mobile phone, so uh, we had to try and find a reason not to be on the mobile phone. So we pretended the phones didn't work. We pretended, oh, there's a phone booth. We'll go and continue the interview there. And then all mayhem ensued after that. It was hilarious. So many scenarios, and all we need to do is have a look at the vision. Let's have a look at Lavinia and Ed in action. <laughs> Kate! Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, that's now clear and crystal. That's beautiful. Yeah, she's a... Oh, she's all right. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll, I'll grab it. Hang on a sec, Kate. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Kate James. Hi, Kate. I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Eddie, oh, God, if you listen to this show, you'll know how mean he is to me. I never do anything mean, Kate, never. <laughs> he teases me mercilessly. Yeah, we're huddled in a phone booth. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. All right. Yeah, I'll put him on. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. Sorry, I only got the, the message to call you about half an hour ago, and I've been running around to get to this thing. So, yeah, but... Oh, she's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> what have you done? Nothing. Open the door. Livo. <laughs> Livo. <laughs> what did you do? You, you just jumped. I didn't do anything. I promise. All I did was drop it off. Mate. Excuse me. <laughs> Can you just see if there's a latch or something that's. Uh... <laughs> Can you just? <laughs> if, I, if I give you the keys, there's be like a toolkit or something in the back. You can. Just, put, oh no, uh, put in, just, just have a look. Oh God, There'll be like a toolkit or something in the back, mate. Just get. Right. I'm, I'm prepared to smash this. <laughs> when do we have to be? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. You, can't, well, you can't give the car keys to a complete stranger. Sure, I just want to talk to you. <laughs> He's finally starting the car then. Oh, oh my god, Eddie. There's cops there. Oh, no. hey, you guys! Double T F M car. He's you're joking. Down there. No, I'm not. you're not joking. No. no. Oh Quick, take him. Go, go. Locked in a phone booth, the car's been stolen. 
Where, where? I will lock my lock in here as well. Yeah, it's just like it's like it's stuck in a latch or something. I'll have to call Telstra and and get see if we can get a technician down here to get you out. Oh, we don't have. To just take it easy. Yeah, just sure. Relax. Yeah. We'll take it easy. Do you want me to call Telstra? <laughs> There's a Telstra car here now, so. The, like, Jesus. He's absolutely livid. Livid? Yeah. Oh my god, that's so much trouble. Yeah, yeah, I hate these models. <laughs> Stupid things. We've been trying to replace them for years. I'm calling. I'm gonna call for some assistance. Yeah. All right, so it won't be it won't be too long. You seriously can't right. just, like can't you take the roof off? Anything right here and now. I haven't got the tools. We haven't got the tools with us. You are cursed. Did these, did these things happen to you before you found met the me? No. Oh, no. it's, it's okay. Can you believe it? Did you get dragged the phone booth away? Oh, no. I'll just stay to get better. Yeah, stay on the side. Just hang on, you'll be right. What are they doing? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Okay, straight up to the warehouse. <laughs> yeah. It's not it's far. Everything's exactly fine, but it's going to go. We have to take to the warehouse because we can't do it with the equipment here. It's not far. You'll be right. <laughs> Is there any chance we could get our car back? Oh, I'll look at it. It's just a joke. It's a joke. Where's your warehouse? Where's your warehouse? Thank you. I have to ring someone and tell them because this is just so funny. Who should we ring? Um, call her. No, a friend. I'll ring you a friend. Call her. Phone a friend. Nick, Limo. Do you want to hear the funniest story? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello. I feel like we're in the Pope of Hello. <laughs> Well, like, as if you'd be walking past a car thief. What are your odds? <laughs> So I'm like, oh, here you go, mate. Just help us out. <laughs> oh. This is something from one of your classes from Dove, isn't it? How are we going all right? Oh, no, that means we're big. All right, we're going all right. Can we move this truck? Oh, so this time. Yeah. Lean in. What? I don't think they want to see any more idiots coming in. Beautiful. Take a seat here. Can I give you this? You What's that? Number? Yeah, look, you're just going to have to... You're joking me. There you go. Where, what number are we? No, not yet, number mate. 10. Right. Mate? Yeah. Listen, we, we actually do a radio show. You've been on telly, haven't you? Yeah, on Hey Hey. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. And you've saw something else too, weren't you? Uh, um... Hold, mm, Never nims or something. Yeah, Maltesers. Maltesers, Maltesers there you go. Yeah. Yeah. It's a job that we can't be late for, that's the only thing. Oh. Yeah, I know, everyone's just as important. I know. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, thanks. It's Thank just you. been jammed. <laughs> right, well, OK. Oh! 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 Freedom. Good on you, well, before you go, would, yeah. you, would you mind signing an autograph for yeah, me? Yeah, Say to, to John, and, John. And, and, and his kids. Okay. That, that'd be great, thanks. I'm on TV too, John, if you want mine. <laughs> Absolutely. You know We're all on television. Welcome to a show that we call Surprise, Surprise! <laughs> Thank you.
funny. All I can tell you is that now I'm really paranoid about life. Anything that happens, I go, what, what, where are they? <laughs> Listen, while, while you were laughing your head off, what were you thinking as, as it was being lifted onto the back of, of a truck? And <laughs> being... <laughs> well, I don't know if you heard it, but I think I said, I'm going to wet my pants. And then <laughs> afterwards, when everyone jumped out with the cameras, I just thought, oh my gosh, I please don't put that bit in. But, you know, it happened. Oh, I, well, it didn't happen, but, I, you know. <laughs> Obviously, your, your initial reactions when you, you guys were both in there and the door opened up and you saw like a half a dozen other people stuck in there. It was like a little adventure. I was like, bring it on. All it needed was to, end, end, end to rip his shirt off and be Superman in that phone booth. And I was gone, yeah, whatever. Despite all the hardships you went through, how nice was she still signing autographs exactly. at the end of all that? I mean, really. Exactly. I mean, you know, you, and you counter that with the fact that you use your stardom to jump the queue. Yes, oh, nice. no, no, no. <laughs> Listen, we've got a really important uh, appointment. I yeah. know. Well, I'd been in the phone booth for about half an hour at that point, so enough was enough. What was plain to see for me was, especially with women, is that, you know, in the face of adversity, you have to ring a friend just to confirm that this is... <laughs> You won't believe I'm stuck. Yeah, I am. <laughs> well, then I am stuck. Listen, you can't get actually stuck in the Telstra booths because our uh, props department especially fitted that one out. Yes, so, absolutely. If, little uh, disclaimer there. Yeah, that's the little disclaimer. Oh, unless you're in the phone box with this one here. But uh, <laughs> I know where the latch is now, so we're set. Just give me a call. Right. Well, you enjoyed yourself? Yes, I had a great time. I can't believe how much trouble you went, so thank you. Well, look, no thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please thank Ed and Levine. <laughs> It's the only secret I've ever kept from you. <laughs> Very well. And you know, the best thing I've ever done in the past has been just to like hide a banana inside your jacket. Like, I think I've outdone myself. You have. I'm really impressed. Hold on, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Now, when you're out to sting the stars of Australian television, our next guest is the prime target. He was on our A-list from day one. Now, let me just settle in, because I've got a he's, a... he's a man with a great weight. He's the star of the AFL footy show and the star of Sam and the Fat Man. Please welcome Sam Newman. <laughs> How are you, sir? Grab a seat. Very much. You almost feel like there's this legend that's walked in here because everybody else is going, Sam's on the show, Sam's on the show. And, uh, you know, I must admit, uh, Sam, when, uh, when this show, this concept was happening and they were throwing your name around, obviously, when you heard about the show, you were a bit apprehensive? No, I actually uh, heard about the show. I think it was um, towards the end of the football season and someone said this new show was uh, coming up called Surprise, Surprise. And I remember actually distinctly thinking to myself, <laughs> and have to get up early to catch me. <laughs> and in fact, they didn't get up that early. I think it was about midday. Yeah, yeah. We set the alarms and everything. Yeah. We uh, set up a, a luncheon meeting with your, with your manager, Greg Newman. Yeah, you did. And he came and picked you up and he told mm. you that there was this important person that you had to meet. Yeah. And you were out on the road driving and you came across a traffic light. That's right. And uh, I, I don't know why in the hell we were out there in the first place. Greg had given me this cock and bull story about going, which I swallowed, mind you. And I thought, yeah, I'll go along with this because he speaks a fair amount of crap, crap, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, is that all right at 7.30? Yeah, hey, look, that? just you're the man. So uh, we uh, went through the abalone check and uh, Greg's driving and we're out in the middle of nowhere and we turned a corner and there is a red light and it says stop on red signal. Right. And that's where we pick up the action here. Just to remind you, ladies and gentlemen, do not adjust your set. Uh, I want to also remind you also that out of the 30-odd stings that we've done, we've never had problems with language. Well, that... <laughs> <laughs> you got the language in? Well, no, no, there is the beeping bird of language in there. Well, so... I want to, in that case, I want to apologise in advance for anyone watching because uh, I assumed that there was just Greg and I in the car, so please that's you right. bear with me if... Uh... And it only, only go, you know, goes to prove that it was unrehearsed and it was live. I can absolutely guarantee it was unrehearsed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> let's go with Sam and Greg to lunch.
The golf course and the resort over there is fantastic. That's yeah, really good. Why don't we get a stoplight? I'll push up a bit, good. Well, is it that car's waiting for us to go through the red light and then they're going to spring out and book us? <laughs> what the f***'s going on here? Just heads up. Running. Just heads up, never mind. There's no cars, no one in that car. What, what is going on? No, it's gone green. It's, no, it doesn't. It does. No, it doesn't. Back up. <laughs> oh, f***. That's how it's going green. What the f is this? This guy, for God's sake. This is a big truck coming out. It's only 40 k's. Stop here on the red signal. Maybe you just got to stop and then you go. Oh, Look at that. There's the chopper. There's the coppers. Oh, oh, this. What? said that it must mean stop and then you go. I can't believe what the, this is not happening. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, Constable Fontana, Police Air Wing. Uh, are you aware that you went through a red light back there? Mate, mate. I've got to tell you. We stopped for four minutes and then we thought, well, it must stop and then you must actually go after you've stopped. OK, well, look, a red light is a red light, uh, and we are in a wildlife sanctuary here. Uh, do you have your licence there, please? Yeah, you haven't brought the chopper over to tell us that we've gone through a red light, have you? We have indeed, sir. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> How long would you actually like us to stop at the red light for? No worries. If you just remain there, please, gentlemen, I shall be moving. Do you believe that? I don't believe it. What? Well, I've already got the red light thing that I got off you. For the Porsche, should you be you'd have to be driving now, yeah? What you have a look if you actually had your license? You got your license? Oh, I've got my license, but um, this will tip me over the edge. I mean, no, but that's all right. But if it, yeah, no, I'm not sure if that's all right. You're allowed to be driving now, are you? I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to be driving. <laughs> I've got two outstanding red light cameras. Ca camera, oh, not red light. Yeah, red light cameras. Can you? believe they're wasted. They, they, they cost five grand an hour. That is, the, that, that is the most pathetic thing I've ever heard. Come stop. Are you aware, sir, you currently have outstanding traffic payments? Yeah, I am, I do. You are? Okay. Look, what I suggest you do, sir, is uh, you actually swap. So if you have the other gentleman drive, please. Your licence is suspended at the moment. Uh, and what I suggest is by later this afternoon, you actually go to a local police station and pay those outstanding fines. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to drive. Oh, now, it is an offence to drive without a licence, so I can't stress how important this is, sir. No worries, mate. Whatever. Yeah, can I just ask you a question? Now, if you could please wait until the chopper takes off as well. Thank you, gentlemen. As we went through that red light, they came. Where'd they come from? Oh, that, that, that is just bizarre. How long did we stay that light for? Three minutes? Or oh, two? 
would have been no more than three minutes. No more than three minutes. Sam, Sam, tell me, what did you want to ask the officer? <laughs> oh, I actually don't know what I wanted to ask. I wanted to say how I was going to actually say it to him. I say, you've got to be joking, haven't you? You've got a chopper here. It actually looked like the Channel 9 helicopter when I saw did, it. Did you recognise it? I thought, that is the Channel... No, it's got police on it. Couldn't be the Channel 9 helicopter. <laughs> Because that's normally your limousine anyway. Yeah. That, that carries you around during the weekends, or? Uh, oh, yeah, it's a great ad for Coke, incidentally, <laughs> exactly. and a great ad for statesman cars. Uh, I was actually going to... Uh, I was trying very hard not to abuse the police, because you shouldn't do that, but exactly. I was just about to open up on that bloke for being completely and utterly stupid. But luckily I wasn't. More of Sam after the break. <laughs> Welcome back, you're watching Surprise Surprise and I'm with Sam Newman. Just to recap quickly, Sam and his uh, manager, Greg, have been pulled up by the cops in a chopper on a d deserted road. Uh, they have been told to swap over. Sam is now driving after this red light incident and that's where we pick up the vision. I didn't see them. Yeah, I said, there's a cop chopper. I said, they're coming to pull us up because we've gone through the red light. Sure enough, he landed on the road. Yeah. Right, to stop on the red signal, right, right, we waited for three minutes. Well, you're Mind you, we're in, out in the middle of the country. That's why I suppose it's now all voice activated. Okay. Well, we do it. It's coming up to 28 oh. minutes to four. Jesus, here's another one. Warehouse, oh. <laughs> this is unreal. This will be good. I bet you they're waiting for us to go through this one. <laughs> Where have I gone? Go to the right. Red again. I bet that's a chopper. The well, fastest heading into tomorrow after well, the final the, final can't see the chopper anywhere, mate. No, I bet you it must do a signal through. signal through. If it breaks a beam and goes through the red, they come back. And see the chopper coming. Can't see the chopper anywhere. No, coming from over the behind those. There he is. No. It's this is unbelievable. Jesus Christ. Well, 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 Jesus Christ. You got your license on your police, sir? Uh, no, just a minute. What are, you, what are we getting We just up? seen observed driving through a traffic no, mate, signal. No, we weren't. Just stay in your car no, for this, sir. I want to explain something to you. I've got to get my license out of the back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what's your full name? Now, mate, do you want my license? I'll get it out of the back. Yeah, I'll get your details first, thank you. Well, what is going on here? <laughs> Newman. Thank you. John. Noel Williams. Blitz on today, sir. Yeah, but what, what, what do you... Uh, we have You observed failing to comply with the red light. No, mate, we didn't. We've already been pulled up once. We well, explained it just a minute. You've got a choice. You can have the matter... Elect to have the matter heard no, in court, if you like. No, I'm explaining to you what we did. <laughs> Any prior convictions for similar offences? Oh, God. OK, sir, I'll take it from here. Sir, could you get out of your car, please? Get out of your car, please, sir. Mr Newman. Welcome to Surprise Surprise! <laughs> you were fast asleep, weren't you? you, you uh you I absolutely believed what was happening? Uh, even when you came up and the camera came up on me, it wasn't, I thought the coppers are filming a, a raid on Abalone or something. <laughs> <laughs> 
I still didn't get it until I saw someone from Channel 9, and then I uh, then the penny dropped. Took a while to drop, though. How did you feel when you saw, like, 16 policemen come out of police cars? And I actually, uh, the bloke who stopped me getting out of the car, he actually pushed me back into the car, and right. I thought, well, I can remember weighing up in my mind, would I put all my jobs in jeopardy that I have in all the media outlets and actually knock the bloke out? Right. <laughs> Well, look, we couldn't have done this without, obviously, yeah. uh, your manager himself, and he's here mm. with us. Please welcome Greg Numa. Grab a seat. Greg, i, I got to say, from an actor's hey, point of view, manager. great performance. What were you laughing at? Well, this is the antics of, of Sam are extraordinary. I mean, you, you, you can't just play a, a normal role. I mean, he, uh, he actually plays it, played it beautifully. Right to when he jumped out of the car and walked up to the light. Was I mean, his reactions exactly what you would have thought? Uh, no. I, uh, well, I think the copper was real lucky. I reckon he was going to deck him. Right. I mean, that, just for that, for that split second, he did actually, when, the, when he touched him, he, he almost lost it. And I remember thinking, uh, if we get pulled up on the way home by real police, we'll tell them to get nicked and uh, <laughs> we'll think it's another scam and we actually will be put in jail. Well, listen, uh, Sam, we want to thank you very much for being great sport. We want to say uh, congratulations and good luck for mm -hmm. Sam and the Fat Man. But ladies and gentlemen, please thank Greg Numa and Sam Newman. Well, I thought I'd be ready for something like this, first, but I tell you what, if anyone doubts was I ready for that, that is the best of all time. That, that is the best game of all time. Two cameras easy. Yeah. What did we say? What did I say, Greg? Yeah. Did I say anyone was a cricket mine or anything like no, that? No, 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 nothing like that. It was all good. It was, it was all fun. Fun. I didn't mention anything about Eddie, did I? No. Nah. No. <laughs> You're only joking, Eddie. Now, the worst thing that can happen is I'll get pulled up on the highway by real police, and I'll get out and I'll say, now, go and get... Welcome back. Our next two guests are two of the most highly respected musicians in Australia. Please welcome James Morrison and Tommy Emmanuel. Might I say, as musicians, you're well decked out this evening. Ah, uh, mate, so. he's the boss, you know. I, I, you know, I wanted to dress tough guy tonight. Right. To try and make up for how I looked. <laughs> you looked oh, fine. It cut, it cut really well. But uh, oh. obviously, uh, Chuckles over here was the one that got you into trouble there. Uh, My yeah. ex-mate. <laughs> the guy I used to trust. trust. Yes. Both of you had such busy schedules, being such highfalutin musicians, um, uh, that you had to basically get him down to a cafe in yeah. Melbourne. Well, um, I, I had to, to convince him that there was a, a big bank in America. A, ba a banker guy was here yeah, from the yeah, States for yeah. that, you know, symposium. Yeah. Uh, what, Bob Wilson, I'll never forget his name. <laughs> Gotta come Wilson. and meet Bob Wilson. He wants to put on a big tour. And I'm that, going, was that the best oh, name you could come up with? Bob, Bob Wilson. Wilson. Uh, well, no, you came up with it, didn't you? Yeah. Anyway, so I've, I've dropped the hook in. And oh, I had one day off, like, in a hundred years, and at first my office said, no, no, he can't come, and then Tommy called me personally and said, mate, come on down. I'm in the country. I thought, I'll go down and see Tommy, and maybe this meeting will come to something. Mm, he was... Oh, it came to something. Oh. It came to something indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to lunch. Well, <laughs> you have to get a radio thing for it at the moment. It okay. Has a wire. But anyway, are we going to get a, a uh, entree or something? Uh, are you? Uh, how hungry this are you? This looks good. I think I like this. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you order the uh, chicken house? I'll, I'll be right back. Okay. Mate, it's my wife, all right? Show them a bit of respect. What are you talking about? Just hey, show them a bit of respect, all right? Just get out and you go with him. No, they're just, I'm real right and I'm just a bit pissed off. Well, no one's going to put you away shit when I'm around, all right? That's it. Oh. Did you order? No, no one came. What? Not yet. Oh, okay. Whatever you do, like, don't look it up. 
He just played up on board. You're kidding. He was kidding. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Just glasses up on board and just from a little bit cheap. I think it seems a little bit more. The trouble is it's hard not to. Yeah, he looks pretty big. Hmm. Holy moly. Like a collage, do a nice little edit of it with some scary music. Just put that on as we taxi out. Can you always hear Mr. Bob Wilson on the phone? Yeah, yeah. That's the guy. Okay. Hang on, mate. I'll be right back. Harry. Harry. After all, we are just newly married. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what do you think, eh? Wouldn't mind that. What did you say, mate? No, What's wife? your problem? Just Who's it? Right. That's a comment, man. There's two chairs over there. Don't make any comments about my What's wife, all right? There's two chairs over there. Just go and get out of here, all right? Yeah, we're out of here. You go with him, too. Take your girlfriend with you. He'll be here in a minute, mate. Sorry. Right. He's apparently caught in some traffic or some, some, something going on in the city. Things That's right, good. yeah. Uh, mate, um, what was I going to say? I was thinking about um, where we're sitting. He's just been another guy. I don't know where we want to sit in We just got up and got him. He thought they were good. What you want? I don't know whether we can meet to another table. What do you know where you're in? This guy over here. Yeah, oh, he doesn't look at that. Oh, no. He doesn't bother me. What's he doing? Mm, yeah, she looks like a. I don't know. She's holding her head down. She looks a little. Yeah, I wouldn't be looking. Maybe she's not going to be happy. It's not worth the trouble. I'll be back in a minute, right? Okay, Behave yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, he's in Knoxville, Tennessee. Right. Right. And. Um, I think. I don't know where he paid 14 grand or something for it. Is, it, is he gone? She is looking at us, actually. <laughs> hey, you didn't need your salt. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's Where's too the much. Way to yeah. the, uh, we need to want a bit more wine. A bit more wine would be great. Mm -hmm. uh, Morrison. Um, yes, I am. You this are? is Tommy Emmanuel. Hi, how are you? Good. I'm so happy to meet you. Oh, thank you. You're fantastic. Well, you're thank like you very much. Do you mind if I go have a chair and sit down just quickly? Are you sure you're yeah. friendly? Yeah, that's fine. Just a second. <laughs> um, what are you doing, mate? I don't know. So, what are you up to? Um, well, just getting ready for the um, start of the Olympics. Yeah. He's the Olympics and, Are yeah. you? And, uh, he's playing the closing and I'm playing the opening. So, Fantastic. Uh, Can I get your autograph sure. before yeah. you go? Yeah. Do you have something I could write on? I don't have a pa piece of paper. Do you have a pen at all? Yeah. yeah. I might have a piece That's of paper. That's all right. I'd love you to do it up okay. my leg, actually. Oh, I don't. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, this never happened. Not a ballpoint. No, that would, no that really, that would hurt. Really? Yeah. 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 I'll tell you what I'll get as a memento of today. I'll get the guy to give us a menu of today. Oh, that's a good idea. No, 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 it's a great idea. Oh. Yeah. I bet you they're cool. So they're, yeah, oh, they are. They're oh, scrumptious. Sure. Uh, they're, uh, actually, I'll be seeing them a little bit later today. Oh, oh fantastic. Thank you. That's oh, great. Yes. Great, mate. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah. My husband's probably going to come back. I'll just quickly go get one. That'll be all right. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, I'll be back in a sec. Right. Okay. That's good timing. This is very bad, let me tell you. If he walks back in and she's sitting here, mm -hmm. we're both going to end up on the floor. I don't want to drink as well. Of course, don't do that to me. You know what I mean? I'll move my chair a bit further away. You see? She really moves the chair and says, right. She wants to be sitting to me looking real cuddly when he walks in. Absolutely. Then she's not straight ahead either. You think there's something going on there? Got a pen? I, um, it's a ballpoint yeah, again. Yeah, sorry to be a real pain. But they might my have it. Husband's really upset and oh, wants to talk to you. Oh, great. 
Oh, yeah, it's a bit crazy, but don't worry about it. It sure is. Um, I mean, you're a bit upset. Just, I don't know, basically, because I was sitting here and got upset. And right. I don't know, don't worry about it. Like, it, it should be all right. Yeah. It's yeah. a little bit crazy. James! Jay Lagaya. Now, now, uh, you're looking a bit confused here. Let me just lay it out for you. I'm right. <laughs> Don't be scared now. Now, you've seen those television shows that use hidden cameras and celebrities and celebrities' friends who set up their celebrity mates? Well, this is one of them. Welcome to Surprise, Surprise. <laughs> Now, how, how do you feel? I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, didn't see, dear. I, I thought there was no way he would fall for that it. That was really bad afterwards. Tommy said, mm. I told them all, you won't fall for it, mate. Yeah, oh, yeah, I, I, fell I was for saying, it. like, he's so smart, he's so bright, he's so clever, yeah. and blah, blah, blah. But you know, you know what the thing is about, about all of these surprise right. surprises? Because everyone sits at home, I, I reckon, going, oh, I wouldn't have fallen for that. Oh, how could he believe that? The thing is, there's only one thing more unbelievable than some of these situations, and that is that someone would go to all the trouble to set it up. Exactly. It's true. It's true. I mean, yeah. who would, do, you know, it couldn't be a set up, so you believe it. And the idea of having sort of cameras all around, these cameras are all hidden away. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, yeah, and the you know, microphones two -way and everything. Oh, right. yeah. And well, you know, in, in oh. your thing, we had up to ten cameras in there. And, and I mean, you... women that look like Renee are all the time coming up asking me to sign their leg, well, you know, yeah, and yeah. just like, yeah. another day. And that, that's you really know. funny, too, because we actually have Renee here sitting in the audience Oh, really? Right now. Don't look at her. Don't look at her. <laughs> Hello, Renee, how are you? I'm still waiting for my autograph. <laughs> oh, I've got a felt-tip pen now. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Where were you going to when you stood up to leave? Where were you, were you uh, going to do a runner on us? No, 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 I was going to get a... Me I was thinking, <laughs> what can I sign something we don't have right. so I can leave? And because hopefully... I thought, he's going to walk back in any minute. If she's sitting next to me doing all this, I'm for it. If I'm not here, it'll be cool. It'll just beat up Tommy. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you would feel, you'd feel really bad about that, wouldn't you? <laughs> At the time, I felt bad about it. Now I wish it had happened. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please thank Tommy Emanuel and James Morrison. As soon as she said that, as soon as she said he wants to talk to you, your face went red. <laughs> I just went to the window, the window. <laughs> Tommy can come with me, we can get out of the movie. It's on film, every angle of me moving away from a woman dressed like this. Yes, like this. <laughs> I'm still scared to look. <laughs> The trouble is now is I'm going to invite you to lunch somewhere for real, and it's going to be a guy like that for real. You're going to go, oh, you're going to go to the gate. It's okay, mate. I'm going to go, Tommy. No, Tommy. There's no cameras. <laughs> Welcome back. Once again, we've got that time where we have our celebrities on the couch. My first question has to go to Sam. <laughs> Sam, now in the situation that James was in, you know, obviously you've you've had beautiful women come up and you've had oh, jealous yeah. boyfriends. What would you have done in that situation? Yeah, well, I've been spectacularly unsuccessful in a lot of fights. Oh, I've you had. would have been in like fleeing. Oh. Yeah, I. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I probably would have uh, just taken the uh, obvious chance that I was going to get knocked out again. Right. And I couldn't have let the guy get away with it because uh, carrying them, that's oh, just look, stupidity. Spoken, like a, spoken uh, yeah. like a true champion. No, I, as I say, I wouldn't have, uh, he would have just come over and uh, blown me away, but I just think I might have, James, had mm. to say, get a life, mate, oh. what are you talking I about? I reckon this, I reckon the, sh the show that, actually it? got it wrong. I reckon I should have been in the car with the cops and you should have been <laughs> in the restaurant. <laughs> then they could have filmed you decking yeah. the guy oh, no. and me bribing the police and saying, I'll play for the policeman's ball, let me off. You know? That's right. And then on the ne you know on the drive time show the next day you could have announced it over the radio. You know, <laughs> That's right. Yeah, next to policeman's ball. Have you ever run a traffic light before, Lavinia? Um, no, no. <laughs> to both cameras, no. Ladies and gentlemen, please thank our guest Sam Newman, Lavinia Nixon, and James Morrison. <laughs> More stunts and stings next week on Surprise Surprise. Bye.